Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video we are going to see how to calibrate your printer with Cricut Design Space for you to take prints and then do the cutting. So open Cricut Design Space and on the left hand menu select calibration. On the next screen select print then cut and it will start your calibration process. So it will detect a printer on your machine and you know it once it detects the printer then it is going to uh, ask you to print so click on the print so that uh, you can get the print out from your printer ensure that your printer is connected to your computer while you are doing this step in case your print does not come properly or you need to take print again then in that case you can click on print again or else click on continue to proceed to the next step where it will provide you instructions on how to place the print out properly on the mat in case you have multiple Cricut machines set up with your Cricut design space then in the next step it is going to ask you to select the machine for which you want to do the calibration. So from the drop down select the machine for which you are trying to do the calibration. In the next step the calibration process will ask you to set up your machine which essentially means that stick the printout you have taken for calibration onto the mat and then feed the mat into the machine. When you are sticking the printout please ensure that you are touching the left border and the top border properly and every single time in every iteration of the calibration you have to follow this process this is essential uh, because if you you know do not stick at the same position every single time for the calibration it is going to mess up the calibration process and you might need multiple iterations anyway this calibration process requires two to three iterations at the minimum for you to be able to calibrate the machine properly so it's better to uh, you know uh, do things properly right from the get-go so feed the mat into the machine and then uh, click on that blinking button so that the machine can start the process of calibration so the way the calibration works is that the machine first finds out the area to be cut with the help of the outermost rectangle the four quarters of the outermost rectangle with the help of that the machine you know finds out the edges of the printed area once that is done uh, then it cuts out the centermost square and it always tries to cut on the center of those thick lines which are printed for on the calibration sheet whether it, the horizontal lines or the vertical lines once it has cut the centermost square then it cuts the uh, horizontal lines and the vertical lines and then it proceeds to the next step Next it will ask you for assessment whether it was able to cut the center square properly uh, on the center of those thick black lines. If yes, uh, then you it will ask you to proceed for fine calibration where it will ask you to select the horizontal and the vertical lines where the cut was made exactly in the center of the lines. Once you provide that uh, info to the machine, it will cut the uh, center big rectangle and it will ask you to check if the cut was made properly on the center of the thick border of that rectangle or not if not then the machine will save all the data that it has generated so far and it will ask you to repeat the calibration process so you have to tell the machine whether you are happy or not with the uh, cal entire calibration process or not if you are not happy then uh, you can take another printout and repeat this process again until you are happy with the calibration process so you have to do this calibration process multiple times now as you can see uh, the cut has not been properly made and on the you know vertical lines the line number 10 and 11 are more or less at the center and on the horizontal line uh, the line number e I guess is more or less in the center so these are the values that I supplied earlier uh, you know to the software so I'm not entirely happy with the cut so what I will do is that I will uh, take another print and repeat this entire process again and once at the very last step I say yes I'm happy with the calibration the calibration is complete and then you can proceed with the actual cutting which is the next step in this video as you can see on the second round of calibration the cuts on the rectangle were exactly where they should be and with that my printer calibration process was complete. Once the calibration process is complete click on close and then click on new project to start up a new canvas where we will be uploading a 2D template for a 3D model and utilize this print and cut facility. Now I already have the files uploaded onto the system as you can see that uh, two variations of the same file are there. 
the one with single solid color is a png image which i have downloaded from pepacura for this 3d model and the one with black and white triangles is a dxf file which is basically known as drawing exchange format so this file is used for uh, drawing scoring and other purposes now why these two files are required how they get generated i will cover in a completely separate video for now just know that if you want to build a low poly model and you want to take a print first before uh, you know you actually uh, do the cutting and scoring so in that case you require a png or an svg file or you and and also you require a dxf file alongside with it so i will complete i will cover this uh, in detail in a separate video so don't worry about that for now just assume that you have the uh, print that you want to take here so the file which you want to print uh, you need to select print and cut against it then you need to ensure that the image that you are going to print and cut is within the area represented by those four corners on the screen that you see uh, because uh, those four corners will also be printed on the page alongside with the image that needs to be cut and the machine utilizes those four corners to determine the cutting surface and also uses the calibration data it has collected earlier so ensure that the image is between that and once you are okay click continue and then click send to printer which will print uh, the image on your desired paper thickness and you know desired paper color once you have that then the next step is to cut it on the machine which you can uh, see on the top right corner so step number one is print step number two is scoring and step number three is cutting scoring always happens before the cutting so as you can see i have inserted my scoring pen also and uh, i will push the mat inside by clicking on that uh, blinking button and once it has measured the mat and everything then i will press on the go button for it to start the scoring and the cutting process also i just want to state that scoring is an optional step depending upon the kind of project you are working on if you are not working on a project where you need to fold the paper then scoring is not required a lot of projects are simply print and cut also or draw and cut so all these different kind of you know projects you can do and in my case i am trying to see how perfect the calibration is between printing scoring and cutting so that's why i chose an example where the system has to first print a 2d template of a 3d model then it has to score it and then it has to cut it overall the calibration was pretty fine uh, but i think i needed one more round of calibration before i should have cut it uh, but overall it came out good as you will see that i will try to construct a 3d model out of it also so once the entire process is complete uh, push the mat out and you can see that uh, crease has been created on the lines uh, because of the scoring process and then it has cut on the outlines also uh, scoring is required automatically uh, especially for low poly models it's it's okay uh, if you do not print in case uh, you know all the folds are mountain folds or all the folds are valley folds but if it it's the case that you know some of the folds are mountain folds and some of them are valley folds then in that case you need to do print score and cut but if that's not the case then you can simply do score and cut because you know how all the folds are going to be so for symmetrical models uh, printing is not required but for unsymmetrical models you will require printing also so that you know you can properly uh, do the folding of the model so in this case uh, all the folds are valley folds so i'm just simply folding it the scoring pen in itself does not create very strong crease or fold marks the fold marks created by the scoring pen are uh, medium at best so be careful when you are actually folding uh, because sometimes you you might fold at the wrong place also so so just uh, be careful for it uh, because even if you choose more pressure uh, during the initiation of the scoring and cutting the scoring happens at a, a given pressure only uh, the selection of more or less does not matter to the scoring it only matters to the uh, cutting blade so uh, once i have scored now i'm simply you know going to stick all the pieces together and create my 3d model 
Now this uh, 3D model that I have chosen to print, score and cut with Pepacura is just a one pager template and fairly simple but in actuality when you'll work on uh, 3D low poly models there will be a lot of pages to the templates and the shapes will be unsymmetrical and everything. So uh, for Cricut to be able to easily uh, you know and correctly cut things and score uh, things correctly it is important to do a lot of prep work at the Pepacura stage itself where you do the unfolding of the 3D model. So, so it requires a lot of intermediate steps uh, which I have skipped in this video and I'll be covering in a proper low poly uh, you know, project using Cricut machine and Pepacura. So I will cover that in that video. So I'm almost at the end stage of uh, creating this uh, 3D model, which is a dodecahedron. It's a geometrical shape and it came out fairly well. Uh, I hope you guys were able to understand how to do the calibration of a printer with your Cricut machine. And uh, if you guys liked this video, then please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on arts and associated technologies. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Till then, stay safe, take care and bye bye.